Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to make a quick video and kind of show you uh, my brewing equipment that I use. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's electric brewing. I don't do uh, propane. I tried it uh, once and I didn't really like it because when you do propane, you kind of have to do it outside. So you pretty much can't brew all winter when you live in most of the country. Uh, so I decided to go electric and right now I keep it in my basement. I have my uh, hot liquor tank that has a temperature sensor on it and a the heating element is actually a heating element from a water heater and it works very well and the temperature sensor goes over here and I can set the actual temperature I want the water to heat to and it will just heat to that temperature and then stop. Alright, this is my mash tun. It's a 10 gallon cooler from Home Depot as you can see. Uh, all I did was take out the normal drain part here and kind of convert it on, on that way here. And I'll actually show you. A lot of people make false bottoms for this, but I kind of did something a little different. Where I just took some PEX, and all I did was I took it and I drilled holes in the bottom and cut little slots in the bottom there, and I just attached it to the drain there. And it actually works really well, and I get good efficiency, and it was really easy to do. I didn't have to deal with soldering with copper or any other weird stuff like that. I just used two the, uh, of the attachments here for the, for the pecs, and then I just used two worm clamps on each other side so I could still take it apart and clean it if I need to. So, I said that works very well. It didn't cost that much to do. Pex is really cheap to buy. The fittings are a couple of bucks a piece, but they're not too bad. So same thing over here, it's my boil kettle, also a heating element in it. I don't have a temperature sensor for the boil kettle because I don't really need one. I just need to boil it, I don't need another temperature. And this I just use to measure how many gallons are in there. Uh, I just made marks on each gallon and then I just check it out from that way. I did buy a, uh, a little gauge here that tells you how many gallons are in there. And I'll probably buy another one for this one someday, but for now I don't really need it. Uh, I ferment, I ferment all my stuff in this keg here. I just put this oversized bung on it here, and then do the airlock and it works just fine. I mean, you can't look at it, but who cares? I mean, it's nice to look at it, but you don't need to do it. And I have two of these but I just keg some of it in. Usually in 10 gallon batches, I'll bottle five gallons and then keg the other five. So that way I can take bottles somewhere, but I still have a keg for around the place. Uh, over here, you'll see that I have, this is mostly just full of grains, these buckets. And I have a 50 pound bag of uh, two row that I actually bought on Craigslist for uh, 35 bucks for a 50 pound bag. Which I thought was a pretty good deal. And I just keep most of my equipment up here. Here's my grain mill that I just got the other day, which I actually haven't even used yet, so I'll make a video on that. And uh, I have a wood stove over here that's nice in the winter when I'm brewing, and I just light it up and it keeps me nice and toasty down here. It gets pretty chilly in the basement up in Pennsylvania winters. Then over there, you'll see my collection of bottles uh, that I have yet to use for bottling. That's what I have right now, just spare. So um, as I get more, I'll you know add them on the shelf and, and so on. So that's basically it for my setup. Uh, I'll do some videos in the future of uh, some brews and kind of show you the step by steps for those who aren't familiar with, with home brewing yet. Like I said, I do all grain. Uh, a lot of people like to do extract if they have limited space in their house. Extract brewing makes some great beers. Uh, I'm not going to say they don't. Some people prefer to do all grain. It's just kind of what you prefer to do, really, and what you have space to do. The nice thing about home brewing is you can get as involved as you want. You don't have to go crazy and buy all the stuff and, and spend a lot of money. You can do most of it on your regular house stove if you want, or you can go all out and with the electric setup or propane or whatever you want to do. So um, that's it for now. I just figured I'd show you guys around a little bit and I'll update later on with some maybe some how-tos. So thank you for watching.